Hi guys, it's Ben from the Parker Brothers and this video is a little bit different. We've done a fishing vlog previously, myself and my good friend Matt Wallace. Um, and it got a, a very, very good response by all you guys. So what I wanted to do today is, some of you may see what I'm holding in front of me is the goo, the corded goo. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can save yourself a lot of money and have the same effects with, by, by saving yourself probably 13, 14 pound. And I'm going to show you now. So to jump straight into the video guys and show you how to do this, I'm going to start off with the ingredients and approximately how much it's going to cost you. So first of all, you're going to have to start off by popping out the Tesco's, your local Sainsbury's or Iceland, whatever your, whatever your choice is. And you're going to have to buy yourself some glycerine. Now this is sort of the base of the mix to start off with. So what you do is you open, a, open the cap, tip this in. So now I've got to the point, all I've done there is I've tipped in approximately, well there's five, I've emptied five, nothing else, just five pots of glycerin, put it in, and these are, guys are about sort of 90p each, so they're not costing you much at all. So the next ingredient guys is really down to personal preference from your point of view, so I've been doing really well and alongside a good friend uh, we've been using a lot of the plum. Now the plum has been really, really working well for us, especially in the winter months. Um, this is this is a CC Moore um, attractor, and I'm looking at a sheet of paper in front of me now, and this will actually cost you around six pound fifty for a bottle. Yes, I know that's a lot of money, but you've only got to, you've only got to use X, you know, this 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 much for for one mix. So in the long term, you're going to be saving yourself a lot of money. That's just one of them there. So I've got plum, there's a, there's a mussel there I've got, um, a cranberry, a salmon. There's an acid pear drop as well, which has also worked quite well. And at the back there is just an almond, which is just basically a cake sort of mix that I've bought again from Sainsbury's. And I think that's about one pound. So it's not much at all. So like I just mentioned, guys, the plum has been doing really, really well for me. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to flip that round, put approximately a capfuls in, one, and two, that's what I normally do, two capfuls, but I want it a little bit stronger. You know what, I've got a little bit in there. I'm not one of these people that does everything to measurements. So I'm just gonna put that in as well. So that's in there. And that was sort of five to approximately two and a half capfuls, if you like, that is what I've used there. So that is where I'm at now. Um, there's the consistency, very, very watery consistency, but I'm gonna go into in a second how you thicken this up and how you add your color and make it look make it look pretty if you like. So on to the next part of the mix guys. This is again CC Moore and this is a fluoro bake dye. This is actually ultimately for pop-ups if you're making your own pop-ups. Um, this is a bright red. Again I'm using stuff that I've used in the past that's worked really really well from, from my perspective. So I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to get a little teaspoon, one teaspoon there in the mix and that is enough you really don't need much of that at all because it's very 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 strong stuff and it goes a long way so i'm just going to mix that in there guys to get so as you can see there the, the, the color's really sort of taken to the goo already and i think this also gives you another sit, uh, an edge to your fishing as well because a lot of the quarter goos aren't red they're green. Yes, we're going to add a green base that gives that green fleck off it, but you've also got the red in there as well. And again, I really do feel that this gives me the edge when I'm fishing. So moving on to the next ingredient, guys, this stuff is called fluorescent. Now, a lot of you probably don't know what this is, but what I do is you really don't need much of this at all, at all because it's very strong. I'm going to pull that out there. It's sort of a very brown, if you can pull it up on the camera, it's quite a, quite a brown sort of color there. Half a teaspoon into the mix. And that is what gives you the green quarter famous slick that comes off of it. And again, I'll show you that later on in the video. This here, you can get off eBay. And I think it's around five pound for two or three packets of it. And you, you probably get half a, half a little bag there of it. Um, but again, you don't need to use much. So in the long term, you are gonna save yourself money with this. So the last ingredient on here now to make you goo is, is just Normal corn flour again by Sainsbury's, I bought it from Sainsbury's. Again, this is down to personal preference again. I mean, I, I quite, I like my goo quite sort of thick. Um, so what I do is, I know where I've done it a few times in the past, I know roughly how much I need. I 
I'm gonna start off with that there. And what you wanna do is almost like a cake, sort of knead it in. Nah, that's, see that's, I'd rather that be a lot, a little bit more thicker. So again, I'm gonna go back to the corn flour now and start again till I'm happy with the consistency. So I think I'm there with that now. I've got the sort of consistency that I keep mentioning there to how I want it. I reckon that's probably cost me around the six pound mark, but don't get me wrong, that is a lot of goo in there. In comparison to the bottle that I showed you earlier, see this is the, this is this uh, coconut cream from from Corda themselves. I would imagine if you were to put that into bottles, it's probably two and a half bottles full there. So you, you've saved yourself a hell of a lot of money. And that's going to go a long way. It's got all the same, all the same things as, as goo. It's PVA friendly, so I can then stick my bags in that. I can put mesh of that. I can put that directly on a bait. I can do whatever I want with that. Uh, really, exactly the same as something that's costing four times as much. So yeah, I'm going to pour that into here. This is what I normally do now. Let's pour that out of there. Just put that in there. It's like Tupperware tub you could pay 25p from from Sainsbury's or something silly like that or just go to somewhere obviously try and get it all out so you're not wasting any so just to show you guys the effects and the damage the goo can do um, it's just a rig I've just pulled out of my tackle bag there nothing special um, with a pop-up there of a sort of a high-vis pop-up on there or a white pop-up should I say I'm just gonna dip that in the goo itself like so and again there's loads on there you can see that and if I bring the camera over to the, the washing up bowl I've just tipped some water in there I'm gonna put that in there now and if you get right up close there you can really see the damage it does to the water and sort of the surrounding of the bait itself which from a fishy point of view a fish is going to come in and sort of see this and see the the, the, the goo it's giving off and the light, the attraction and the flavour and the smell it's giving off and hopefully now your bait and give you that little edge as opposed to having a bait over here with nothing around it at all. That's my thoughts on the goo. So that's my take on the goo guys and that's how to save yourself a lot of money. Just to keep in the loop as well, we are actually going to Sandhurst this coming Sunday, it is Tuesday today, so we're actually going to go down to Sandhurst, it's a, fit, a lake I've never fished before, I'm quite excited to go down, I've got Matt's coming down with me, I've got my friend T, Ed as well, so it's going to be a few of us, uh, we're going to get, get some footage as well, vlog the whole day, we're going down for three days, I think we're going down the, the, the Sunday evening all the way through to the, to the Wednesday, so it's, it's going to be really, really exciting. There's a, a good head of fish in there, but again, I'm not going to blamble on too much about that. Um, you, you will see that video, but stay tuned guys as always. Thanks for watching We really do appreciate the support you guys have given us over the duration of the last few months And especially with little things like this the fishing vlogs because as I mentioned before it is my passion in life fishing Alongside cars as most of you know me by but thanks again. Thanks for watching. Give us a like give us a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe down below. Thanks for watching guys Goodbye